All right, everyone, we're back, and we're going to go to the... Oh, there we go. We're back, and we're going to go to the Sharma. Which... Sharma. Charming. Let's see what we got to look at in here. Hmm. Got the rack. I had no need for a clothes hanger. The clothing rack was empty. I suppose Mr. Water took everything away. I was... I wasn't that desperate for a... Larger congregation. And dress making <laughs> money. Designs for some sort of skimpy sundress with some orders attached. Huh. Design board. The design board was the only spark of creativity left in the third showroom. I didn't know much about fashion design, but it looked like a skirt or maybe a large skirt. Or large shirt. <laughs> poster. With a poster of some blank faced woman in a hat. Is that a computer next to her? Or a radio? There is a computer. A photo. A photo is on something. It was a photo of Miss Slaughter with a post it note reading Don't Forget Anniversary Flowers. Shelf. Paints, paints, markers, and random junk adorn the shelf. Alright, well, there's a computer we can look at and touch. The hops can be remained on this. I assume Miss Laura didn't want to be bothered with it. Well, I guess we'll play around with it. Um. Shh. Sharma? No! Sharma. Okay. Ledger mail. and mail. Let's look at the ledger. Okay. There's a lot of money coming in. And oh, wait, look up. back at that ledger. Yeah. Was was that it? Oh, never mind. I thought it said something important. Never mind. Beth Tikva. Beth Tikva sounded like the name of a synagogue. It looked like Jack decided to stay devout after all. So I'm assuming is why he would have skipped out before. Yeah, I guess. Look at the mail. I can't... Rabnet Admin, undeliverable. To Jack Lauder from Rabnet Admin. The following message was undeliverable. The report error was... Subscriber R. St Stone does not exist on Rabnet. Oh, I misspelled the name. Hello, Rabbi Stone. It's been a while. I hope I got to correct the email address, no doubt. You were surprised to hear from me. I'm not sure why I'm writing either. I often think about what you said. It still angers me, but I can't but I can't understand your motives. You looked at us and said, Nothing is worse than when Jews turn their backs on one another. I can still remember that look in your eyes. Sheer contempt like we were the worst sort of scum that ever crawled out of the ocean. Dang. I love my wife, Rabbi Stone. She is my partner in everything. I regret nothing. Nothing that is except you. I hated you for years. I hated, I hated you. We both did. I joined another temple with a rabbi who was willing to marry us, and tried to forget about you. When I found myself in trouble and in need of guidance, I could think of nowhere else to turn. You called me a traitor once. Do you still feel that way? I, I've seen traitors. I've seen Jews turn their backs on other Jews. It's not pretty. It's awful. I am not like them. Time has cooled my hatred. Has done the same to you. I need to speak to you. I feel like I am 12 years old again, preparing for my bar mitzvah, and needed help with my Torah portion. I know I didn't marry a Jewish girl, or go to a temple every week, or keep kosher, or do any of many things that we're supposed to do, but I always have known that I was Jewish. Is that enough? I am not a traitor rabbi, I have never forgotten I'm Jewish. Jack Lauder. Dang. And then other ones, like, Mr. Lauder, how are you? We are still awaiting payment, transfer from you. Your goods are taking up space in our warehouse. Please submit the money ASAP, or we will be forced to liquidate them. Okay, I got you into this mess. I will get you out of it. I'm meeting with JDM tonight. Do not write him JDM. any more checks until you hear from me. If you want to play hardball, he picked the wrong guy to mess with. Wait, well, who the fuck is E? JDM? Rotten deal? Hmm. This is what's worth looking into. 
Trouble. Call me now. We need to talk. E. Ethan G. I don't know how you say her name. I can't okay. see it. Hello, hello. The fit model canceled again. Can she be any more useless? Okay, we'll have to find someone else. Don't forget, we have a dinner at the Goldwaters tonight. Love, Raj. So that's probably G. Oh, Rajshree? Rajshree, yeah. Fife, maybe? Doesn't yeah. It? That, the last name. Ever. Your instinct was right. Something isn't right with this deal. All the wire transfer led to different places, and nobody answered the phone at any of them. My accountant senses senses tingling. Don't panic, Jack. I'll be. I'll get to the bottom of this. See you. See you at a. See you at Temple tonight. Just because this is a game about Jewish people, I'm assuming that we have to look up Ethan Goldwater on. The J thing. What, Ravnet? Yeah. Yeah. Kitty Lou, shipping. Mr. Lauder, how are you? Your goods are packed pack and ready to get ship. Wire us the funds and we'll get into the next boat. Hmm. From Ethan G. This is strange. The rates do seem unusually high. I'll look into it. Special offer. For your network and protection needs, contact Emma. Patterns and producers. Hello, partner. I got... The shirt design's done. I'll send copies to the factory to get fit samples made, and guess what? I got them. Spent an hour on the phone with Telecharge, but I got the tickets. Orchestra seats, too. I'll meet you at the office at 6. No excuses this time. Love, Raj. Business matters. That must be an oversight. I'll look into it. So, <laughs> some There's some shady business going on here. Yeah. Oh, cool, we can combine clues. Joe DeMarco. Joe DeMarco and JDM. Yeah. Joe DeMarco, JDM. That had to be it. Hey! Um, Ethan G, Joe DeMarco. I had no idea if Ethan G and Joe DeMarco were connected. Joe's meeting with Ethan G. The JDM and Ethan's letter had to be Joe DeMarco. Alright. Joe's meeting with Joe DeMarco. Based on the discoveries, Joe DeMarco evidently had a meeting with someone named Ethan. Alright. Alright, I guess we're done there. So we need to go probably... To... Beth... Beth, Beth Tico, Beth. since it's the only place we haven't been. Yeah. Oh, Rabbi. Rabbi's here to see you. This is a much nicer church. Or pentagon. Yeah. Window. A large tasteful stained glass window surveying the synagogue from its high vantage point. I suppose it's okay. <laughs> Ooh, photos. I like the music in this game. I do too. Several of the photos showed a group of children sitting around the table. Two men flanked the children, smiling at the camera like they just won the lottery. A caption read, Jay Silver and E. Goldberg on duty at the Beth Tikva Youth Center. I guess. That's kind of a weird animation. Hello, Rabbi. Oh, hello, Rabbi. Yes. You're the chief rabbi here at Beth Tikva. I do care. Oh, Tikva. So, okay. what can I do for you, Mr. Uh... Rabbi, actually. Rabbi Stone. Well, <laughs> fancy that. I can always spare time for a fellow rabbi. What brings you to our humble synagogue? Direct, indirect, or are we going to get rabbinical with All the right, rabbi? Alright, look, we're about to go in a complete circle, and I want to do rabbinical so bad. Uh, rabbinical. Do you know Mr. Jack Lauder? Should I know Mr. Jack Lauder? <laughs> rabbinical! Rabbinical! Don't you think you should know Jack Lauder? Why do you think so? Wasn't he a member of your congregation? Was he? Don't you know your own congregation? Am I expected to know everybody? Well... Ambrose broke out an angelic smile. Critical response. I guess. Wonderful. Damn it! Damn. Flippant. I don't know what the hell flippant means. What the hell's flippant? Find out. Do you want me to click 
Click flipping? Yes. He was only a member of your congregation. He died a few days ago. Sarcastic. Right. Okay. The funeral service was yesterday. I honestly don't know where my head is these days. You conducted the ceremony? Yes. His wife insisted on it. Did she now? If I may ask, what is your interest in Mr. Lauder? Rabbinical? Oh, you know it. Aren't all matters of our flock our concern? Uh, well, not every matter. But still, we do what we can, don't we? Consult your notes. Are you familiar with an Ethan G? Oh, that was weird. Ethan yeah. G? Is that his name? Just an initial, as far as I know. Ah, well, nothing leaps to mind, I'm afraid. Okay. Does the name Joe DeMarco mean anything to you? DeMarco? Yes. Sounds Italian. Other than that, <laughs> it means nothing. Sorry. Is there anything you can tell me about Mr. Lauder? I'm afraid not, Rabbi Stone. My congregation is rather large, and Mr. Lauder seldom attended services. I'm sure I don't need to tell you what that's like. You certainly don't. <laughs> Do you know anything about Ethan G meeting up with Joe DeMarco? In all honesty, I have no idea who Joe DeMarco is. So I'm afraid the answer is no. Good night to you, Rabbi Zelig. Good night Probably to you, you Rabbi Stone. Yeah. Try one thing. I'm assuming that Ethan G is Ethan Goldberg. Yeah, you can buy that sniper. So I guess now we go look up Ethan Goldberg on our computer? Yeah. We'll be back, Rabbi. Ours is a little bit shittier compared to the other one. What? Our synagogue is a little bit shittier compared to the other one. I don't know, you get to look at the deli. And that's true. You speak to Strammy. Ah, oh, crap, my login was Arstone. Arstone? And the the password was Yenta. Where's a clue? I wonder what the clue is. Busy boy, or I guess that's what we have the Yiddish dictionary for. I spell Yenta. Why? In... No, it's an E. Yeah. Uh, let's search. Ethan Goldberg. Gold. B E R G. With a warm rush of triumph, I knew I found my man. Ethan Goldberg of Beth Tikva was found dead last night in a Murray Hill Whoa! alleyway outside Paddy O'Hare's pub, victim of apparent mugging. We at Ravna express our sympathies to Ethan's friends and family. Shit! Oh my god! Joe. Joe. DeMarco. Alright. Poop. Thank you. Dang, I was gonna say 10,000 entries for poop. Let's see if... Let's see if Raj knows anything. I'm just... I wasn't expecting him to... Be, be dead. dead? Yeah, I was... I was. I expected to find him and have to go talk to him, not... Well, he's uh, dead in an alleyway somewhere. Outside of an Irish bar. Meeting with Italians, or well, the other rabbi believes we get. We go to Patio Hayers? Or are we just gonna go back to. Should we just go back to the Lauder residence? Let's go back to the Lauders. Don't wanna get mugged in an alleyway. Yeah, I don't really feel like getting shot. I found a clue! Mrs. Lauder. Oh, it's you. Come on in. Um, consult your notes. 
Do you know an Ethan Goldberg? Oh, Ethan Goldberg. Yeah, I know him. Who is He's dead. An accountant. We used him to handle taxes and complicated documents for the business. Not full-time, just on a consultant basis. Wait, is he involved in this? Not anymore. He's dead. What? Since when? About a week or two ago. Murdered. My god! I thought it said last night. What is I happening? Oh, I guess I didn't look at the date on there. Yeah. Ask her about Joe DeMarco. Have you ever heard of the name Joe DeMarco? Joe? Joe. Joe. Yes, I've heard of Joe. He was one of our first investors. He invested in Charming? Yes. I thought like it was a toilet paper. Yeah. Well, we didn't have much money to start the business with. All the banks saw us as a poor risk, so we needed independent investors. Have you ever met Joe? Jack handled the money stuff, although I know Jack didn't like him. Why not? He didn't say, he just didn't like him. But we were desperate, so we had no choice. How did they meet each other? I think they were introduced. At the temple of all places. At temple? So Joe DeMarco is Jewish? Maybe. Why? DeMarco is not a very Jewish name. And that's important to you, is it? Not to me, no. But it's certainly significant. Ask her about the meeting and then Joe Jewish. Do you know anything about Ethan G meeting up with Joe DeMarco? I'm afraid not. If they met, I'm sure it had something to do with the business. Ethan was our accountant, and Joe was our primary investor. Although I have no idea what they'd want to talk about. You really think Joe DeMarco is Jewish? I told you, I have no idea. All right, I guess we gotta go back to the synagogue. Leave now. Yeah. I'll see what else I can discover. Thanks, I guess. Right, I hope we get some more rabbinical responses. Dude, this is that great. was fantastic. And let's see, can I combine? So the infamous Ethan G was Ethan Goldberg, and he was connected to Joe DeMarco somehow. Unfortunately, Ethan was dead and couldn't give any give me any answers firsthand. I'm so glad this came with the soundtrack. Yeah, I really like this. This would be very interesting to work to like yes. years ago. Consult notes. Ethan Goldberg. I was hoping you could tell me something about Ethan Goldberg. I know he used to work here. Ethan? Oh, what a tragedy. That man did wonders for this community. It's a shame what happened to him. You know about his death? Of course. I conducted the funeral service myself. I recently found out that Ethan Goldberg and Jack Lauder did business together. Really? I'm not surprised. Ethan offered his services to many people. He was a whiz with an editing machine. So I heard. You need a calculator? Ask about Joe again. Did a Joe DeMarco ever belong to this temple? DeMarco. That's hardly a Jewish name. I know. Although, it's difficult to say. As I told you, it's difficult to keep track of individual congregation members. He was an investor in Jack Lauder's company. Does that mean anything to you? I don't know. Should it? No, I suppose. I don't know. Refresh my memory with my palm in your wallet. Hmm. So, I... At least we probably aren't going to come up with anything else, are there? No. Let's see if he has any more dialogue. Doesn't any of this strike you as odd? Should it? Two Jewish men, both in business together and both belonging to the same synagogue, are killed within two weeks of each other? A third man, who may or may not be Jewish, is nowhere to be found. There are only two connections between these three men. One is Jack's business, the other is this synagogue. Rabbi Stone. That's kind of odd. You're not suggesting anything. I'm not. Let me finish. People all over the world use religious communities to network and conduct business. This is nothing new. You know this, Rabbi Stone. If there is a connection, it has to do with their business dealings and nothing to do with Beth Tikva. I won't stand for our reputation being tarnished. Do I make myself clear? As crystal. I'm glad we understand each other. Now, if you'll excuse me, it is rather late. I understand. I'll see myself out. Wait, 
let me give you my card. Of course. Get on someone's nerves. <laughs> Feel free to email me if you have any more questions. Okay. Okay, so we cannot go back to that Tikva. We're finally gonna go to Paddy O'Hare's. Where are we going back to be on the red light? We're gonna go back. Let's go back to the synagogue. Our synagogue. Yeah, not. I'm sure I'm going back into this room and. You're gonna. Look at his business card. His name is actually Joe DeMarco. Oh, Amos Zelig. Guess what we gotta do with that information? Look him up? <laughs> Look him up on some... J-Date. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're gonna search... Amos Zelig. Contact bio is his J date. <laughs> Amos Zelig moved to New York in 1963 with his wife Carol and his do dog Dodger. Since then, he has been one of the most prolific rabbis in the city. His wife and dog are gone now, but wow. Beth, but Beth Tikva remains one of the strongest centers for the Jewish community. That's all I got. So you're gonna log out. Log out. Log out. Rabbids, R A B B I Z, which is Amos's stuff. And we're gonna do Dodger. Dodger. Hello, Rabbi you're Amos. Gonna, you're gonna read his mail. <laughs> Welcome to Rafnet. Wonderful. Hello, Rabbi Zillow. So you finally joined the 21st century. It's about time. Haha, ha, Mazel Tov, etc. Just wanted to congratulate you on another hair-raising sermon today. Everything was glued. Everyone's glued to a seat. See you next Friday, Jeff Kotak. Interview. Dear Rabbi Zelig, my name is Jared from the Jewish Weekly. I have heard of your recent philanthropic activities and was wondering if you you consent to an interview. Feel free to contact me again. I had a very hard time not saying you're full-on rapist. Uh activities from watching Sunny Philadelphia. <laughs> Special offer. Oh, that one. Inspiring. Rabbi Zilling just got back home. Thanks for giving me a tour of your temple. It's interesting to see how things are done in the big city. Your sermon was, as always, all inspiring. You are right. Times have changed since Bible times, but people sure haven't. Thank you again, Amos, but be sure to look me up next time you're in our neck of the woods. David's small. Joe. Rabbi, I'm a bit concerned about this investor you set Jack up with. Oh. Can you tell me what you know about him? E. That little dick. Bluffing it. Yeah, Rabbi, thanks for the kiss ticks. Happy we could be of service, Tim. What? I appreciate that you took the time to help us out. We were cash poor and in serious need of help, but I could, but I can't help but be concerned. Are you sure this investor is on the up and up? He has money, certainly, but the man gives me serious creeps. No, we need we need the money, so I would accept his money for now. But I was hoping you could tell me more about him. Thanks, Jack. The fuck. No subject from Royd, undisclosed email.com. Amos, if that Goldberg character has been making waves, you know what to do. What? What? jdemarco at notmail.com on it. Got your message. Ethan's been getting into trouble, so that's not a problem. I'll get in touch when I chat with him. Uh, oh my god. Wow. Uh -oh. Robot, I just wanted to write and tell you how excellent your service was. My friend dragged me on Friday, even though I don't usually do temple thing. Do the temple thing. I've already signed up. You've got a new member. I'll be going to your temple from now on. I'm already looking forward to the next Friday. See you then, Jennifer Sandman. 
Thank you. Thank you, Rabbi Veli, for the lovely service you performed for my husband, Ethan. Your kind words and wonderful anecdotes put everything at ease, especially me. As you know, Ethan worked very hard for the Jewish community and, to a lesser extent, Beth Tikva, and I'm sure he is very happy to know his work was appreciated. Thank you again, Rabbi Zelig. I will see you bright and early Friday night. Jay Lauder, talking about Ethan. Rabbi, the police are asking me about Ethan. I told them who he was meeting, but they say it's not important. Not important? How could this not be important, Rabbi? Oh, not be important. Rabbi, what are you, are you doing? Why aren't you doing something? I'm sure he has something to do with this. What have you gotten us mixed up in? Uh... R. Blackwell at Village Eye. <laughs> Rabbi Zell, thank you for answering my question. The article will appear next week. I, uh, Los I... Angeles! Oh my god! Oops. Oh my god! I like That's that. amazing! Calm down, Ethan is dead. I fear for my life. Your so called investor is demanding more interest and is threatening me and my wife. You tell me to calm down? How could you do this? How could you get us involved with a creep like that? Don't tell me you're not involved. My God, what is going on? When I think of you looking uh, holy and pious during Ethan's funeral service, I want to throw up. Damn. I can't even tell my wife. I am so ashamed of myself to think I was so blinded by greed that I couldn't see beneath the surface. I was better off with stone. He was pig-headed and arrogant, but at least you knew where you stood. Watch your back, Rabbi. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Don't think this is over. You call yourself a Jew, Jack. Damn. Got it. From Jay DeMarco. You're certainly keeping me busy. I got your message. I'll let you know when it's done. Oh my god. Oh my god. Rabbi's leg. I am not Jewish myself, but Jack was very devout, and I felt I owed it to him to give him a proper Jewish funeral. Thank you so much for your help and for answering all my questions. I am sure Jack would have appreciated the efforts and care you put into the service. I am going to try to prepare a proper shiva. You are welcome to come by to pay your respects. Thanks again. What in the hell? Oh my god. I'm gonna log out. Yeah, let's just log, log the fuck out. We're going to the fucking pub. Oh, we're going to that next episode, because... We gotta drink ourselves. No way. We're gonna do that next time. So next time we're going to the pub. I have to, um, comprehend what I just read. Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, thanks for watching. This was interesting, at least for the two of us. Yeah. See you next time. Bye.